What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 38 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question is asking us to find the equation of the line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to this function. And this is a technology question, so essentially it's like multiple choice for three different spots. But as we go ahead and figure out the actual function that we'll need, we'll be fine. And we will not need to worry about um, trying to figure all this out. So, the big skills that this question is testing are your understanding of perpendicular slopes and your understanding of point-slope form, which is the easiest way to actually use a perpendicular or slope and point once you find it. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started by reviewing perpendicular slopes. In order for you to know that two slopes are perpendicular, or in order for you to get one and find the other, essentially, let's say I start with two-fifths. I need to flip that fraction over, and then if it's positive, I make it negative. If it's negative, I make it positive. So two-fifths becomes negative five-halves. That's one example. Uh, next example, let's say it's negative four. Negative four, I would treat like a fraction as negative four ones. I flip the fraction over to be one-fourth, and since it's negative, the perpendicular slope can't be negative. And then finally, for a third example, I'm going to draw this directly from the problem and say that if I start at negative one-third, I need to flip that over to become three ones, or three, or just three, and since this one was negative, this one has to be positive. So we've already gone ahead and figured out the perpendicular slope to this function, y equals negative one-third x plus five. And we figured out that the slope is 3 because we took 1 third, flipped it over to make 3 ones, and took away the negative sign. So now we need to use this slope of 3 and this point, 1, negative 10, to actually get a function in slope intercept form, in this y equals mx plus b form. So this is the best way to do this. It's called point slope form. I've covered it in other questions in the Math 1 released items. Essentially, if we have just a point, like for instance, 1 and negative 10, and a slope, for instance, 3, uh, we can put this information into this formula and play around with it a little bit until we get it into a form that looks like y equals mx plus b, where we just have our slope and our y-intercept. All right, so to actually go ahead and uh, fill this information in, I will make the shell of this formula. So this is y minus our y coordinate, which is y minus negative 10, also known as y plus 10, equals 3 times x minus 1. So now that I have my point slope form of this line, I need to go ahead and play around with it. First, distribute. I'm going to distribute 3 to x and make it 3x. I distribute 3 to 1 and it becomes 3. I keep my subtraction sign in the middle, and this becomes 3x minus 3. And now I left y plus 10 alone. So now that I'm here, all I'm going to need to do is get rid of this plus 10. So I can get rid of plus 10 by doing the opposite of adding, which is subtracting. So this will be minus 10 minus 10. Plus 10 and minus 10 cancel each other out. Minus 3 and minus 10, this is like if I owe someone $3 and then I borrow $10 from them, the amount that I owe goes up to $13, but I still consider this a negative number because it's money that I owe them. So this is y equals 3x minus 13. Now that I figure this function out, I just need to know which of my choices I would have to use to answer this question. So y equals 3x minus 13 was my function, which means I would pick the 3x box, the minus box, and the 13 box from the possible boxes that it gave me. Let me just zoom in on this so it's a little more clear what I did here. That is the final function, y equals 3x minus 13. 